What's up, PB Poppers? Jordy Pop, 83 here today, and I am pumped for Master Premier League. I know I said that about Ultra Premier League, but we really didn't know what we were getting into, and that meta was basically like Great League 2.0, right? Just way, way, way too open. Never know what's going to come around the next corner. So today I'm stoked. Uh, obviously, Master League doesn't start till 1 p.m. That's like in three hours. I gotta make a video before that. So we're gonna talk about one of the <laughs> very few Pokemon that have had any sort of a change since last season in Master League Premiere, and that is Mamoswine. And Mamoswine is actually gonna be on, you look at it on paper, you go, oh, what the fuck, that's garbage. But just give me a little second, we're gonna break it down into segments. We're gonna go over the overview here that we're looking at right now. We're gonna go over resistances. Uh, we're gonna go over the attacks. And then we're also gonna go over what it wins uh, in what scenario, right? And you're gonna be very surprised. So stay tuned to the end. All right, so overview time. We got 207 attack, 203 stamina, and 127 defense. That is not great in Master League. So that's a little low, right? The defense is. Um, the attack, the stamina, they're fine, they're okay. Uh, but Powder Snow did get an amazing uh, boost, so it is now doing 2.5 damage per turn for energy per turn. It's a two turn move. That is a good, good move. That's gonna give you these avalanches and these bulldozers quick. And I just learned today that avalanche is a two damage per energy turn move, which is in just a great reason to look up your moves and know exactly what you're dealing with, right? It's actually really important to know uh, the damage per energy, the neutral damage per energy on each one of these on, on your moves so that you can make the proper decision in the situation where they're both neutral. You want to know which move to throw, right? So Avalanche, 90 damage, 45 energy. Uh, that's two damage per energy. That's amazing. Bulldoze, a little less amazing. Uh, 80 damage, 60 uh, energy for 1.33 damage per energy. That's respectable, but not great, but you, those are gonna come in amazingly handy when you're fighting the electrics. Now, let's go over our resistances here and talk about the resistance breakdown. So we are a ground ice type, an ice ground type. So on the ground side, you are gonna be weak to grass, ice, and water. And on the ice side, you're gonna be weak to fighting fire, rock, and steel. So that means that your resistance to ice and your weakness to ice, those cancel out. You maintain your two, uh, your two times resistance to electric. You maintain your single resistance to poison, but all, and uh, your resistance to rock and your weakness to rock cancel out. But other than that, those all those get added up together and you basically end up with something that is just, you know, uh, man, you, do, you don't end up with a lot of resistances and you end up with a ton of weaknesses. So let's go over the attacks first and then we'll look at it all together, right? So on the attack side, Powder Snow and Avalanche doing super effective damage to Dragon, Flying, Grass, and Ground. Uh, Bulldoze is going to be doing super effective damage to Electric, Fire, Poison, Rock, and Steel. So that's a nice uh, swath of the typings, right? So you are going to be doing a very nice coverage damage. But the problem is, is that you're not very effective, right, against Fire, Ice, Steel, and Water. And you're not very effective, not double not very effective against Flying uh, on the ground, on the bulldoze side, but that's okay because you take you make up for that on the uh, ice side, and then you're also not very effective against bug and grass. But then again, you are super effective on grass for your ice side, so those two things kind of cancel each other out, right? All right, so let's find some synergy here. So uh, electrics are going to be super afraid of of uh, of our boy here, right? Because basically. We double resist their moves and we have a super effective move against them. And ice is neutral to electric. So electric is just not gonna be happy uh, seeing a mammoth swine. They're gonna have to bolt out quick. 
other than that, we only have a resistance to poison, and I don't think there's a lot of poison types out there. So, really, the ice ground typing has got to be the worst defensive typing in the game. Uh, I'm sure there's worse, but this is very bad. You only have two resistances and a ton of weaknesses, five weaknesses. So that's rough, right? Um, and so, you know, you get your ground types and the, the, the ground and the electric, you're going to find synergy there. Um, other than that, uh, grass types, uh, you're going to be weak to those. Yeah, you know, not a lot of synergy in the ice and ground um, dual pairing. It's, it's mostly... You're mostly happy because the, the, the ice and the ground type is going to give you stab on all three of your moves, right? So you're going to have stab on all three moves. So now let's talk about our wins, all right? So on paper, Mammoth Swine is not great. Going straight Avalanche, you only have seven wins in the concentrated meta. So all these um, simulations I'm about to do are all in the concentrated meta. It's on PV Poke um, in the, uh, the multi-battler. So if you want to go and check these, that's where you're going to find it. So Mammoth Swine does beat with straight Avalanche and Powder Snow. It beats um, Garchomp, uh, Electivire, Rhyperior, both versions. Um, what's it called? Charizard, Snorlax, Magnezone. Surprisingly, straight Avalanche beats Magnezone, 578. All right, Popper, side note. The uh, Magnezone matchup, straight Avalanche, is too up in the air as far as uh the mirror shot debuff so literally just go straight bulldoze simple as that and toga kiss 578 so these are all pretty decent wins um all of them are basically over 600 so that's a very very nice you know solid just that would be if you're running it in the lead right now when you add bulldoze um basically you're going to be able to beat Magnezone harder. Uh, straight Avalanche, you do lose to Shadow Magnezone, but with Avalanche Bulldoze, you beat both Magnezones and you beat the other Mag the, the regular Magnezone harder, right? Now, let's talk about how you should use Magnezone. So, in the lead, as you can see, it's garbage. You are literally going to only have about a 30% win rate. Not great. But, okay, let's talk about if it was a closer, okay? Or, yeah, let's talk about if it was uh, as a safe switch, okay? So now you have a two powder snow advantage, okay? So you lose lead, you switch into Mammoth Swine, powder snow, powder snow, they switch in. Okay, that's very reasonable. Only two powder snow advantage. You end up flipping the entire script and now you only lose to a very small set of, of Pokemon and the losses you have are very soft. So basically, um, you're going to be seeing Glaceon a lot. I think Glaceon's going to be a thing, to be honest with you. I've seen it on a lot of uh, a lot of these lists. So Glaceon, Snorlax, and um, Dragon Breath, uh, Gyarados. I have them two separated out here because they are very different Pokemon. You have uh, Dragon Breath, Aqua Tail Crunch, and then you have Waterfall, um, Outrage Crunch. So two very different Pokemon that perform very, very differently. Uh, so both Gyaradoses it beats Conkeldor, or uh, no, no, these are what, what it loses to, I'm sorry. <laughs> so Glaceon, Snorlax, both Gyaradoses, Conkeldor, Scizor, Metagross, Swampert, and uh, Machamp, right? Now, that is a pretty respectable, uh, you know, law, law situation. And if, if you notice, those are a lot of fighters and a lot of um, and a lot of uh, 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 stuff that is weak to to fighting, right? So fighters and weak to fighting. So I'm thinking, really, I'm thinking um, Machamp is going to be great paired with this, as well as uh, who did I? I don't know. We'll talk about that later. I got a video coming tomorrow. It's gonna gonna blow the lid off this thing. So finally. In the role of closer, in the 1-0 shield advantage, you only have four losses. You only lose to Glaceon, Gyarados, Scizor, and Machamp. And again, those are all very soft losses. 
um, going back to the the uh, safe switch situation, as you can see on all of these Pokemon, uh, starting at the Gyarados, right, the 450, that is 18 health left over. So the, any Gyarados to Machamp, you are actually in a decent position, and this is also only in the 1-1 shield, so if you really wanted to win switch advantage, you definitely could. All you'd have to do is shield again. But what I'm saying is, is that it leaves you in a position where you're definitely able to farm down that last remaining HP, and it puts you in a, even a you know in a in a different spot. So the ones that you aren't winning, it still puts you in a strategic advantage position. All right, so I think that's the episode for today. I appreciate you guys very much. Please hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, comment a lot; it really helps. I'm trying to grow this channel. <laughs> this is literally like what I'm trying to make my life, so I would really help if you just, you know, help a homie out. All right, you guys, keep it popping. Poppers, see you on the next one.